hey, let's listen to Prager U talk about why we shouldn't let brown people into the United States. This is a death sentence to make this journey. They're overrun. It is not sustainable. What we need is enforcement of laws and common sense policy. Since 2020, there have been over 4.5 million migrant encounters at the southern border. This is larger than the population of Los Angeles, California. DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas claims our border is secure. The border is closed, the border is secure. But this couldn't be further from the truth. People who defend our open border claim borders are racist. They claim that open borders are compassionate. But is this really true? We couldn't take their word for it, so we traveled to the southern border to see for ourselves. Wow. Well, you, you hear that kind of music that they're playing? It's to kind of drum up a little bit of adrenaline, kind of get a spike a little bit of fear into you about uh, people you don't know coming into the United States, which these people have the legal right to come into the United States. Guys, we're in Eagle Pass right now where we're experiencing firsthand the humanitarian crisis that is going on on our southern border. What's happening on our border is absolutely inexcusable. I'm talking about lawlessness, poverty, murder, the whole nine yards. We've got a lot of folks that arrive who have no way, no system, no friends, no parents, no family to take care of them. They arrive traumatized and they end up on the street. And uh, how is that humane? If you could see that ship. Be okay. I mean, if we truly wanted to treat these people humanely, we would make it easier for these people to get into the United States. We would give them protections on their journey to the United States instead of, you know, like what, what Biden is doing. He is trying to force asylum seekers to request asylum in every nation that they pass through, which can be potentially hazardous for them. And if they don't seek asylum, they're going to he they're, uh, the United States is going to force these people back into nations that are seeking where there are people in these nations seeking to kill them. The death sentence is actually deporting these people and making it harder for these people to get into the United States. You can see it right there. That's where they keep the deceased that one right there next to the building if they ha they have their their id documents on them and we can notify their consulate so at least let their family knows but the downside of that is the families don't have money to transport their deceased their loved one back home so what winds up happening is we have to uh, a lot of times inter them here locally in our local county cemetery and unfortunately they just get a pauper's grave the coyotes they don't care at all they'll wait until after their after they've already made it to Houston or after they've made it to where they're going or after they've been caught by law enforcement, then they'll say, hey, uh, we left this person behind at this location and he was either already dead or he was almost dead. Okay, we can prevent coyotes from exploiting people by again, making it easier for these people to get into the United States. These coyotes exist because it is hard to get into the United States and people are desperate so they're willing to do anything and so here comes these bad people being like yeah I'll, I'll do all this horrible stuff to you and try and you know get you in the United States or whatever or you'll have these people who will claim they're going to help these people get into the United States and then just kidnap them and sell them into sex slavery. If the if the people in our government truly cared, they would actually try to help these people. And that'll be days later. People are just getting left behind to die all the time, every day. As If nobody knows about it, then they, you can't do anything about it, right? And last year, we had 17 people die in the desert mm -hmm. because of the Jeez. illegal aliens crossing. Wow. I put 15 of those in the bag, body bag myself. Wow. What's hard about our job is when you start dealing with women and children that are being trafficked across the border, being yeah. smuggled across the border. That's yeah. I, I'm always curious, you know, when people from Europe were coming to the United States through Ellis Island, no, there wasn't really any big issue. You could even be a stowaway 
and come into the United States. I mean, yeah, there is still a bit of um, uh, bigotry going on, you know, like when Irish people were coming over, there was, you know, signs of, you know, no Irish workers here or whatever. But still, uh, people were allowed to come into the United States pretty openly. And even if you were a quote-unquote criminal, it it changed when uh, brown people and Chinese people and stuff wanted to start immigrating into the United States. Then it was like, no, we got to, you know, kind of clamp down on the people of color that come into the United States. That's what's hard about our job is seeing that daily. They're humans too. Yeah. Um, they're no different than me and you. They're coming to the United States because they want to come in it, for economic reasons and work. Right now we're at the Kinney County Sheriff Department. Yeah. These people just want to come to the United States. They want to, you know, live in a place where they can feel safe, work, contribute to society, have a community of people they can, you know, enjoy. And, and people see this and they're like, no, these people are bad. I hate them. They're brown. That means they're evil. And it's like, what are you, what goes on in your mind to make you want to think this way about these people? Where is your humanity? Um, we're right next to some private land where they say they're looking for a mother and her child. They're looking for after a bailout. When these migrants are caught, they bail out of the car, they hop the fence on a private property. While they're looking for this mother and her suspected child, they're also looking for somebody who's suspected to be armed and dangerous, has affiliations with the cartel. This is an everyday occurrence for them. This is something that happens all the time. And it's pretty wild that you have these migrants, these families, these mothers and children who are really in the same bunch as these armed and dangerous criminals. See, you know, you know, this is this is one way that you can tell that right wingers don't truly care about kids, because if they cared about kids, it wouldn't just be kids that are, are Americans or kids that could be straight right wingers, but it would be every single kid, no matter who it was, if they actually cared about people, it would be anybody, no matter who it was. You, they would want to see them, you know, at least get some kind of help, especially if they, you know, were actually needing some kind of help. We just got finished up with the Kinney County Sheriff Department. We were out there for a couple hours and they were still unable to find this mom and her suspected child. The deputy sheriff was talking about how they routinely find bodies in this stretch of the border because the heat is so high. A lot of times they don't have water, they don't have food. It's wild to think that this mother and her child could be dead any second now if CBP, if these sheriff offices, officers don't find them. They would start uh, discard. We could, we could easily solve this issue of people dying trying to get into the United States by just making it easier to get into the United States instead of harder. Uh, look at the pathways that are, you know, the most hospitable to people traveling. Make that into some kind of road or walkway or whatever so people can get to and fro. Make, uh, build several ports of entries and you know hire more people to you know do processing and stuff and then we can easily make these people citizens by just uh you know processing them through giving them a social security number and then boom we have more people to pay taxes to work to live in the united states and all you got to do is point these people towards places where they can get hired as well as places where they can, you know, learn English if they don't already know English or places where it's mostly Spanish speaking people. Starting stuff that they had because they couldn't take so much stuff with them and you'd find a lot of, uh, you'd find a lot, I'm just going to say you'd find a lot of condoms mm -hmm. alongside the, of the river. 
and I would interview the women or ask them, why do you have, why do you have birth control? Why do you have condoms with you? And then their response is, well, if we're going to be sexually assaulted, at least we have protection. We can ask the man at least, you know, wear a condom wow, wow. to either. Well, well, at least the rapist is kind enough to use a condom. Yeah, I, I, you know, again, our government can do more to help these people. But because of racism and bigotry, the United States wants to do less and less. Look at Joe Biden, who is passing more and more laws to punish asylum seekers. They prevent uh, a pregnancy or, or, or a sexually transmitted disease. A lot of women, they're, they're traveling with their children, you know, on their own, or on their own. They'll be looking for some type of uh, safety. So they'll look to the men in the group, say, hey, well, if I stay with you, will you take care of me? And they don't have anything to give them, so they offer themselves. Basically, they take women and... Then... And it's pretty sad that people have to go to this point in order to attempt to find safety in a different nation only to be punished as a criminal it, it's so messed up it just shows that corporate democrats truly have no humanity just like right-wing republicans young girls i tie them to the tree and, and rape them right there down in the darien gap they're providing women with what they call rape kits. In the event they get raped, it'll prevent them from getting pregnant or prevent them from getting an STD. And there's various spots from the Darien Gap in through, up through Central America into Mexico where they can replenish these supplies. To think that somebody... I mean, if they are actually getting rape kits, that is definitely messed up. And maybe, maybe they are. But, you know, again... The United States could definitely do more to help these people. The United States is legally obligated to help asylum seekers. He is bringing their child through all of this. As an average everyday American, we can't even comprehend the types of things that that four or five year old child was exposed to via the cartel or other nations border crossings getting from Venezuela to here. Because from a humanitarian standpoint, this is a death sentence yeah. to, to, to make this journey. So if, if, that is, if that is the argument, right, we should be shutting the border down immediately. We're no, we should be making it easier for people to get into the United States so it's not a death sentence. Not shutting down the border, making it harder to get to the United States, and then making it even more of a death sentence. These people are stupid putting these people's lives in danger, our government is. The liberals need to understand that these tragedies are a direct result of them encouraging people to come uncontrolled yeah. and illegally to the United States. Yeah. They will no. The, the reason why these people are dying is because the United States make it, makes it hard for these people to get in. They make it so that these people have to take dangerous paths into the United States so that uh, so that they have to um, ask cartel members, gang members, coyotes and stuff to help them get in. That the anti-immigration policies is what is killing these people. Would not suffer if they came yeah. in a controlled manner. There would not be the rape of children. There would not be the uh, the, the exploitation of women. There would not be the uh, separation of families. That never happens when people come to the United States legally. Yeah, so let's make it easier for these people to get in. These, these people are stupid. They, they see that there is a problem, and then they're like, let's not do the simple solution of like, you know, make it easier for these people to get into the United States. Let's make it harder and then still blame them for various issues and punish them for trying to get into the United States. They would not have suffered if they had, uh, if they had come legally, but that would have taken time. You know, people just want to get here quickly. Country would well, yeah, people don't want to spend 20 years trying to become a citizen. Becoming a U.S. citizen is, is not like a one-year, two-year, five, ten-year thing. It can take up to 20 years 
to become a U.S. citizen, maybe even longer. That's why we need to make it so that, you know, it's just a simple background check. And then we give them a social security number. We can make it really easy for these people to become citizens. It's just like, you know, making a person who was just born a citizen. We can make people who come into United into the United States easily a citizen. Without borders isn't a country at all. For the sake of Americans and migrants alike, it's time we finally do the real compassionate thing and secure our southern border for good. You can contribute to this entire video was just nothing but fear mongering. Like the music, the images that they showed, everything that they talked about. And it was nothing about like actually helping these people. It was all about convincing people that we need to close the border because that's somehow the way of helping these people. Instead of making it easier for these people to come in the United States, which would actually help these people because if they're in the United States, then they can be protected from sex trafficking, sexual assaults, and, and various other crimes that these people are subjected to while trying to get to the United States. We could, you know, make a deal with Mexico and Canada to be like, if any of these people are looking to the United States, they are protected by United States law, and if anybody um, uh, commits a crime against them, while on their way to the United States, they will be extradited to the United States and punished, or uh, punished in that nation for their crimes according to various agreements. It, it, it would be that easy. But no, Biden wants to, you know, like, make an agreement with Canada to punish asylum seekers. And it's like, hmm, why asylum seekers? Do you... The UN even has uh, laws protecting asylum seekers that the United States has signed. 